Good morning and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with uh, me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, yes, so uh, today I wanted to talk about um, a, a rather confusing aspect of Scaravelli inspired yoga. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with it. It's the sort of gather together idea. It's the gather together principle. If you've not heard of it before, it doesn't matter. Um, um, but I, I'll, I'll explain it here anyway. Um, in, in, um, in, in most yoga, it, it's about stretch. Um, I'm a bit dark here. Let me just brighten myself up. Yeah, in most yoga, it's about stretch. And uh, that's the idea behind that is that it's the, uh, the muscles, the tendons, the tissue that is getting in the way of your movement. And so therefore you have to stretch that tissue in order to move. Um, <clears throat> in my experience, uh, uh, this doesn't really work. If you, if you, it's your support mechanism. And if you stretch it, you become less supported, which makes you more tense. And it, and it might give you a, a broader range of movement, but it's because you know, your body isn't supporting you as well. So it leads to things like hyperextension in certain places. <coughs> that you um, are familiar with stretching and like to stretch and uh, and it leads to sort of tension in the same area because whatever you pull apart has to hold itself together when you move so um, I, I don't see it as a viable way of <coughs> um, improving your range of movement in Scaravellian inspired yoga uh, a familiar thing that people talk about is, is gathering yourself together it's kind of a preparatory thing before you open out and, um, and uh, yeah, but, uh, people get confused by this, because, especially if they're used to normal approach to yoga. Uh, the reason they get confused is because they, they uh, to them, gathering together is pulling in. It's kind of closing yourself up. And um, that's not what is meant by it. So here's my explanation. If you, if you want better range of movement in a limb, so, so say you've got a... So you've got a tight, uh, it's not very likely, but say you've got as such tight elbows, you can't straighten your arms, right? Um, that tissue around the joint, it, it's not a very good example because you won't, probably won't relate to it, but I'll use it because it's an obvious example. Uh, that tissue around the joint has been built up. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're some, uh, sort of a weightlifter, you might end up with something like that. Uh, the tissue around the joint has been built up to kind of protect the joint against the the efforts of using it um, <clears throat> and it's that build up of of tissue muscle uh, collagenous um, uh, what's it called <laughs> myofascia um, what whatever yeah um, it's it's built up to sort of you might have done it to make yourself strong, but what it's done is it's kind of prevent, it's reduced range of movement, basically. So the answer to that isn't to then stretch, it's not to stretch that, that tissue so that you can straighten your arm. It might work um, if, there's, if there's sort of inbuilt tension, you have to let go of that and maybe kind of holding the arm bent will allow the, the grip that's trying to hold on to the joint to pull it straight um, can let go if you support it bent but it, <clears throat> it's not about stretching it it's about letting it go which is a different intention and it's the same with all stretches if, if you want to if you feel tight in your lower back don't stretch it what you need to do is put yourself in a situation where you can let it go um, where, where it's safe to do so if you stretch it you, you're taking away some fundamental support Around, the, around your lower back. It's not what you want to do. And it can lead to things like um, prolapse disc and that sort of thing. So what, what's the answer? If you, if, you want to, if you want to free up a joint because the tissue around it feels tense, what you need to do is uh, take the job of support out away from the tissue, right? So that, that's one way of doing it, is by just supporting it in a position where it can kind of relax and elongate in the process. But a, a more kind of direct, more direct kind of functional way 
of doing it. And this is how the, uh, the body does it. Hang on a sec, make myself brighter again. Here we go. Something like that, that'll do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where was I? I lost myself. Oh yes, a more functional way of doing it is that tissue around the joint will loosen up if you can organize the bones and your actions so that you can get supported through that joint. So if I've got that going on, you know, if I've got that tension going on and I, and that's how I support myself is by bracing around that joint. Um, the way to let it go isn't to pull it straight and then push. It's to just organize things in a light fashion until the bones line up so that when I lean through to the hand, these muscles don't have to brace to prevent movement. So you're, you're putting, instead of the bones being sort of held around the outside, you're simply organizing things so that you can put weight through the joint. And there's a nice fluid cushion and, and um, uh, what's it called? Um, stuff around joints that makes it <laughs> that gives it a spring and um, my anatomy is, is gone it's terrible I, I, I used to used to know all the words but um yeah uh, the the way that that brace joint that is held around the outside the way to loosen it up isn't to pull on that tissue it's to put the bones together in a way that isn't dangerous you know in a way that doesn't cause a problem for the body and then rest rest through and in that process, the stuff around it loosens up, okay? When it's loosened up, when you move, if you continue to intend to find support through the joint, so instead of uh, catching weight with the muscles around it, this bone transmits its way, weight down through the joint, through, through that bone. So I can rest through that joint. There is some effort to organize the forces in that way, but it's not me hanging off the joint and holding myself up with the muscles around the joint. That makes sense. You want to rest through the joint and that will, um, it will involve some uh, organizational stuff, but it's, it's what's natural. It's the stuff that just sustains the joint in place as opposed to carrying your weight. If you do that, then there's an appropriate amount of force that is traveling through the joint and that joint will be fed. You know, the, the pressure and its release causes the kind of uh, the fluid cushioning to function properly. The tissue, the, the, the bursa around the joint, fluid joint space will be, uh, won't be a, um, inappropriately expanded by, by pushing against. That's what happens when you push against the joint. But just uh, making sure that the weight can comfortably transmit in a, in a lined up sort of fashion through the joint when it's straight. And then when, when it's not, you work from the rest of the body to cause the forces to transmit in that direction. And that, that way, um, the restrictions that you experience in your movement... Um, disappear because the muscles around the joint stop being responsible for holding your weight together. And so they can elongate and contract appropriately. Um, so let's see. A, a way of experiencing this. Um, well, yeah, I, I won't go too far into it because this is just um, the sort of basic idea and I'll, I'll do a full on half hour session on it in a moment from my uh, premium members. But um, for example, when, when people put their arms down for dog pose, I know it's a bit of a standard, <laughs> but uh, most people would straighten their arms with tension around the joint and then push down against it, which kind of makes the joint a little bit unsafe because um, if you're holding it, it holding the joint out, I hope myself doing that. If you're holding the joint in extension and then you drop your weight against it, 
then that joint space compresses. If you have a, a kind of interactive relationship to your touch, as opposed to just having hands on the ground, if, if, you're, if you're exploring the down of the hands and the through of the fingers, um, then you can get support back from that. And if you're, if you're not holding yourself away from the ground to, so that you have to push, then you can kind of allow, you can organize, use it where you use your shoulder, things so that the elbow is just a space in the middle of what you're doing. So when you lean in the direction of the hand, the elbow doesn't feel like it has to collapse or catch the weight. See, You, you want to get that joint free. So that feeling of leaning through your bones gives you support. And it's a, it's a gathering into you feeling. Um, it, it's not pushing the ground away feeling. The hands are on the ground receiving your weight. And in order to get that uh, freedom in the arms, the shoulders need to gather back into you so that you kind of get to transmit the forces of support through that shoulder into you. And then underneath that, you've got your rib cage, you've got your breath, and you've got your spine. So if you can find that gathered in feeling away from where your touch is, rather than pushing the ground away, when you lean your weight through it, what you'll feel is support. And it, it won't be a push up, it'll be a resting kind of feeling through your hands. Legs the same. If you've if you if your job is to hold the leg straight with your knees, then you're in a vulnerable position around the joint because any kind of push will hyperextend the knees. What you want is for the feet on the ground to be supporting you and the hips in space. So all around the buttocks, you want to use those feet to come up into the hips so that you gather the, the thigh bones up away from the feet so that you can be through the knees comfortably. And then on the inside of that, you've got your core, <sighs> wants to gather in away from the pelvis. And you've got your rib cage, <sighs> wants to gather away from the hands. And where you're gathering towards, basically, is the spine, which happens particularly when you release the breath. And then when that breath arrives, you don't want to puff yourself up. You want the breath to arrive because you, sub you trust your support and you let go to breathe. So you're leaning through your bones. And the outcome, um, it's hard work because you're using different muscles. Um, so, and you know, pro deeper proprioceptive muscles. And if they're a, a bit sleepy, that will be intense work. But it won't be um, you kind of holding yourself in position and feeling the restriction of that holding. Instead, you will feel supported and uh, the efforts involved in coming back into your center is the thing that allows you to rest your weight into support. It's all the bones, it's all the joints. So it's not just the limbs. The same is true through the spine. People are constantly trying to stretch their spines, which disables it and causes an exaggeration of its curves, which makes your spine get shorter. <laughs> if you want your spine to be long, you need to be able to uh, take away the job of, of it supporting your weight. So you need to find a way of bringing it together from head to tail through its axis. So that, that's not a reaching away, trying to stretch. That, that's just lifting your weight. If you can find a way of being through your spine so that your relationship to above is met by your support below, whatever situation you're in, even if you're horizontal, you need a relationship to above your head that kind of gives you a direct line of support through your spine to the ground. Um, if you can find that, then you will experience freedom and lightness in your body. And that gathered in feeling isn't to compress you, 
It's to bring you into your bones so that the stuff around it doesn't have to be too involved with the carrying your weight. It, it can work appropriately, which will give you the sense of lightness and space. So this idea of gathering together in order to get space, hopefully that's made sense of it. I shall, um, yes. And uh, if, if you've got the idea, play with it in your own way. And um, yeah, if you want to work with me, if you want the full kind of guided session, I'm about to do that now for um, my premium members on my website. You can get access to the yoga solutions for, um, it's uh, about a pound a week. <laughs> And you get a class a week for that on specific topics. So if you like the idea and you want more of this sort of thing, then come sign up for Silver Membership. Uh, if you want to work with me uh, in, a, in a group, then you can come to one of my workshops. I do a workshop every Saturday morning, uh, two and a half hours, and uh, I take questions and, and kind of build the workshop uh, around the theme I'm on at the moment together with requests from um, the participants so I can apply whatever theme I've got to um, areas of interest for people and um, yeah that's every Saturday I'm um, other things going on I've got a yoga retreat that I'm um, that is hosted by um, Tuesday McNeil in Turkey uh, next summer uh, early July I believe and uh, yes, it's a, it's a wonderful place. It's the last opportunity to, to uh, do this retreat. Me, me and Tuesday have done this for, for years. We had a bit of a break from it with um, COVID and all the rest of it. But this is the last chance we can have to um, put on this retreat. People, people love it. It's a fantastic venue and it's a glorious experience. And uh, it's up in the hills in Turkey. And Gercek is the village. Um, it's uh, near, near, the, near the coast. It's a fishing, fishing village. Um, yeah, so um, I think there's a, some, some places left. Um, it's, only, it's going ahead because we've had a lot of bookings already. So if you want to spot on that, then uh, get in touch with Tuesday McNeil. Her contact details are on my website on the events page. Um, the other thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to turn up at the World Yoga Festival this August. Do my thing there. So <laughs> if, you wanna, if you're coming along to that, I'll see you. So uh, yeah, uh, but that's about it from me uh, for, for today. And uh, yes, I shall see you same time, same place next week. Much love. Bye now.